You know what pisses me off? When someone does a review without putting in their due diligence. This is the video that uh, I guess Cadex kind of wanted on day one, but I was unwilling to do that because at the time with my GoFly 20, I'd only had it for a little while, the embargo lifted, and I did not feel comfortable making a review on this product. I hadn't tested it enough and I wanted to give you the best information possible. And that, my friends, is why we are here Today, we are going to be looking at the GoFly 20, but the difference is we have put through so many packs on this, we can tell you exactly what it's good at, what it's bad at, who it's suited for, and also who it is not suited for. And most importantly, you'll see the flight footage, some of the recordings, some different operations that we're using it in, and also we'll see Super Steve out in the field as well and find out what some other pilots think. So if you're in the market, for a new drone, you're interested in filming and you're wondering, should you go Cadex or DJI, this video, it's gonna be right up your alley. Now something's important to show you on the bench. After flying this around, I have had zero issues when it comes to crashing this thing. I've crashed it quite a bit, but I think one of the stars of the show is this camera protector right here. Not only does it protect your camera, it's got great camera tilt. It fits the ND filter that slides on the front there very, very nicely, but it's just gonna stop anything from breaking it. And the video system in here is one of the most important pieces. So I think that is a fantastic thumbs up. And also it can detach quite easily. If you need to work on your quad, this entire bottom section almost comes apart from the powertrain system you've got on the top as well. And then the other part, which I can't wait to show you is, it's not just my opinions on this. We're gonna find out what Steve thinks as well and give you the rundown on what, make this, what makes this quad special. So let's go do it. I should mention as well, like binding this up was like it was ridiculously easy. Everything just worked. It was a really, it's really nice to set a drone up that's no rigmarole, no garbage. It's yeah. just how it should be. Cause that's stopped so many people getting into the hobby as yeah. well. And then paired with the walk snail goggles, oh, how man. easy is that to buy? Yeah, it's like bang, press, bang, press two things and you're off. All right, let's. And we're rocking a 2S here and by God, I was just flying around analog before, you forget so easily, <laughs> just like the step up or the improvement of what uh, the Cadex digital system actually is like. And this is gonna look even better on board. Like this is just what's being streamed back to my goggles here. So this is the 4K moonlight camera? Yes, this is it. I wonder if I can get a close up of this spider web. I'll go to the other side. Let's, this will be really interesting to see what can, what can come up uh, in the camera here. Okay, the Australian spider just comes out and eats it. <laughs> uh, let's go for a bit of a cruise. I'm not getting any breakup or anything like that. And this is all on um, manual mode. So there's no self-level at the moment or anything like that. Yeah, I think you'd use self-level in a lot more filming situations or like maybe real estate or if you wanted to get some interesting shots. But here it just feels a bit more fluid, a bit more dynamic. Um, I will take it out and do a few little pops and just see how much power it's got. Are we clear behind me, Steve, out here? Yeah, all good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that had way more pop than I thought. Let's do a little bit of a, a little bit of a test. Man, I, I uh, need to put the camera angle up massively if I was going to do that because that's got way more poke than I was expecting. I should say it is a 4S pack as well. So 4S on, I think it's 6,000 kV. All right, I'm gonna try and bring it over and put it into like a self-level mode. I think I've got it set up on horizon mode. Let's do it. Oh, I was not paying attention. I was, okay, I got Now look, I don't wanna to say too much because I wanna hand it over to Steve as well, see what he thinks. And he's got some interesting words about Cadex. He just moved over to their system. He's been flying them a lot more exclusively and coming over from analog. And to find out his thoughts on this versus some things like the Mob 8 or some other little filming rigs, or uh, I guess compared to some DJI stuff as well. So let's see what he thinks. You've got Cadex. I do. You've been flying around with digital. So uh, have you flown a, um, some of the moonlight cameras before? No. no okay. So that'll be interesting. Even though you've got the V1 goggles. Oh no, you'll be, you can buy them up. You, you can use these goggles. Yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Um, what do you think about this? First impressions, I think it's about 400 bucks. Is it? Jeez, not bad. Well, American. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, yep. Yeah, not bad. All right, arm switch yeah. is on uh, this side. Yep. Go for gold. Righto. Recording in the top right hand corner? Yeah mate, all good. Oh sweet. 
It's so nice knowing someone who can actually use CADEX and knows the systems. I don't have to triple check it's so easy, all though. the time. You're the best employee that I never pay ever, Steve. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Man, this thing's pretty smooth. All right. How's the camera? How do you find that moonlight camera in this environment? There's a lot of, I guess, dynamic ranges from very dark areas to some really bright sunshine coming through the canopies. Yeah, yeah, there is. A lot of the, like the ghost comes we're flying around. When they catch the sun, it's just washed out. Like, okay. You can change all that in the settings. Yeah. White balance. But no, it's fine. It's good. What about compared to your Mob 8? How does this feel? Chunkier in the air, heavier in the air, oh, different video way quality. Way more stable. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's not very windy today, so it wouldn't be getting pushed around, but I do feel like it held its line a little bit better than um, some of those lighter quads. Yeah, and in Acro, I'm just trying to keep it as smooth as I can for the benefit of the 4K recording. And yep. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, I might get into it a little bit now. It's very quiet as well. You can barely hear it cruising yeah. around. Oh, there's someone in there. I better not go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> He's probably freaking out. Yeah. No, it seems nice, man. All right. And what about like uh, CADEX versus DJI and stuff like that? Um, well, I've only flown the one DJI. That was the, the last whoop that we did with yep. you. And that was, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Very nice. Uh, we had a bit of trouble. Don't know if you remember. Because all three of us were running CADEX and then we did that. The they DJI, were stomp, stomping they over them. stomped on us. Yeah, yeah, yes. That yeah. might be different. That might, I don't know if that's just DJI's fault. Because maybe if you had multiple DJI's, they might work together nicely. Yeah, and the same yeah. way CADEX does. But any range issues or anything like that? No, I haven't had any. I've pretty much gone right around Whoop Heaven. Yep. Through all these trees, all the water, and it is solid. What's it like doing flippy flops, mate? Did you I do, do some. Yeah, I did some. I gave it some punch and it almost put it through the top of a tree. <laughs> so it's definitely got some poke. It does, I know. Yeah. And good flight time too. Yeah, I felt like that as well. And well protected as well. I really like the camera protection that's on there, the soft mounted camera. All right, I'm gonna get you to bring it in because we do have a helicopter flying overhead. Wherever you are. See if I can catch it again. Yeah, righto. All right, here we go. I'm not, I'm ready, but scared. Ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried it was going to go in this water down here. I was yeah. like, I said, 400 bucks, the drone itself. What do you reckon? For what you get, yeah, great. If you're going to use it just as a little cruiser filming and things, mm -hmm. it'd be awesome. Okay. So I do a lot of my filming with a GoPro when I'm camping and stuff like that. But with the onboard 4K, I wish I had that. You okay. Know what I mean? Just gets rid of the GoPro, much smaller, lighter craft. Yep. Easy. It's done. very easy to transport, especially yeah. when you put it with something like a pocket. Uh, the Radio Master Pocket down there, really cool to take out front. What about, uh, here's one, I think I already know the answer, but like how CADEX sort of is thinking like in the future, like with their mm. goggles and their upgrades and VTXs yeah. and things like that, versus a closed ecosystem like DJI. So what's your, what's your thoughts on that uh, whole can of worms right well, there? Well, as you know, Stu, I un I'm denied about getting into DJI or CADEX. Mm -hmm. I started off with the VRX going onto my analog goggles. Is, so what made you pick that over going and buying? Versatility. Okay. Versatility, you still get great picture and the value for money, like obviously. Yes. You know, you're still getting a great picture. Yeah, okay, it might not be as good as DJI, but it's still good enough, yep. honestly. Would you say this in comparison now uh, with the top of the right line goggles with the latest camera, how would you feel like that is in terms of quality? Mate, for if you come into this, oh my God. <laughs> it's honestly, good, right? isn't it? It is so good. It really is, it, it really is, is awesome. nice to cruise around. And these ones come with the ND filters as well, just like all your top yep. of DJI yep. stuff. Oh, that would have been great to test today. Yeah. All right, yeah. too easy. Enjoy yeah, it. that's so it. So I'm rocking that's the it. V1 avatar goggles with the latest VTXs, no issue at all. Okay. Just click a button, done. Firmware's match, done. Sweet. No trouble. Too easy. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle. And if you're after something like this, yeah, thumbs up. Okay, what about value for money too? 400 bucks. It's not bad. Man, it is smooth, eh? Yeah. Fucking, you wait till you see that footage in Acro mode. It's just I, altitude hole. Uh, <laughs> it was good. I really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now look, this drone is not perfect for everybody. If you are looking at this versus the Avada V2, they are actually significantly different, but they can do some of the same things. The Avada V2, I would say it is a much more advanced drone in terms of flying itself, avoiding things. If you are not a good pilot, or uh, maybe just prone to doing a lot of crashing, the Avada V2 is gonna be a great choice. However, I feel like the shots you can get with this are a little bit more Intimate would be a good way to do it if you've got the skills to pay the bills. If you're a good pilot, this 
is going to go very far and be a very powerful tool in your arsenal. Cruising this thing around, I think the footage looks great. It definitely had more speed than I was expecting for a tiny little craft like this, and that's the important part. It is tiny. What is packed in here is a big deal. It is a very small craft that can do 4K. It's got some great digital CADEX systems in there. It's just ticking a lot of boxes. And of course, it's on ELRS, which means you shouldn't have any range issues or anything like that. And my favorite part about this, no registration, no garbage, no locked out ecosystem. Want to use your own radio of your choice, whether it be a T16, a Pocket or a Gemini radio? Go ahead. Want to change the battery sizes up and get some, I guess, a bit of a longer flight time or a little bit more zippy? Change your milliamp hour sizes, no problems. Want to use the old goggles, an analog version that you're going to slap on your head with an adapter? Want to use the latest X goggles? Want to use the V1 avatar goggles? Go ahead. Like a lot of these systems all work together and it is a much more fluid ecosystem than DJI's kind of locked out priced in a uh, little bit different styles that DJI does. Now finally, you, you're the important one here. Would you get this or would you get the avatar V2? Because I know DJI's got a big following, but Cadex is definitely gaining ground and I'd love to know what you think about this. And if you haven't seen the part one, it's up there as well as some other great videos. Check them out now because I guarantee it's gonna fly nothing like the DJI's you're used to.